garage this morning and uh, I really want to mess with this engine a little bit this is this 350 um, I did put out a short of trying to ask for help on this engine based off these casting numbers this is a late 70s like 77 through 79 350 so that's cool is a 350 two bolt main uh, two piece seal the only thing I don't know is how good are these heads and not that it's really going to matter it's just I would like to tell the customer slash friend what he got alrighty so let's knock off these these are pretty much a 7 sixteenths I'm pretty sure yeah 7 sixteenths and these Oof. just want to before I start turning anything over before we put the push rods in it I want to get everything the best chance for just all these valves and valve seals adjustable will what you do you're going to put it on the crank and now so one thing we ain't gonna have to worry about it sucking into our exhaust our sorry intake the rags down is called we'll have no push rods so all the valves should be closed see how tight that is oof and it just feels super tight yeah holy that's just I was hoping with some I think it's really all the bearings have nothing on them I need to put some oil in it and spin the intake pump sorry the oil pump and spin it and see if we can't get it to um, put some lubrication in the bearings I think that's why it's so tight so I did decide to put some oil in it and uh, I don't know this is 5W30 but I don't know how much I'm going to put in it let's just start I don't think we're going to run into any issues I don't know that's probably about 3 quarts worth okay so this is our setup we have a 3 8 uh, adapter here to like a what, 6 8 inch extension to just uh, it says it's a 3 8 flathead I'll put it in here and see if we can hold this shaft let me get my headlight because I can't really see It is pouring out of a port right here. So I'm gonna do this for a couple of minutes. All right, so we got that done. Let's see how she turns now. I, if I had a bet, I bet it's gonna be a lot better, I, but I can't verify that. I can't swear to it. Let's see. No, no, not much better. maybe a little bit <clears throat> here the rings they're really tight let me get some transmission fluid and put down these cylinder okay I mean I just See, yeah, it's the first time it squirted oil anywhere. That feels actually a little bit better.
So I have a compression tester in there. I, you know, doing this by hand, I don't expect much to be truthful, but I have a leak down tester. We'll try if this isn't hopeful. Oh, gas compression. I can't turn that over. Not with this. Okay, let's uh, revisit that. Ooh, about to drop that. So one of the things you want to do when, um, let me readjust y'all. So one of the things you want to do when doing your compression tester, like you have to have this Schrader valve in here. And if you take the Schrader valve out, I mean, sorry, if you're going to use it for a leak down, you got to take the Schrader valve out. So you just do that. You just got to remember to put it back in. So boom, out, put that to the side. Now we can thread this back to our engine block, to the cylinder, our spark plug hole. Then we can take our leak down device here. Just a regular air fitting coupler. And then we're gonna take our air hose and plug it up here. So the idea is gonna be this price, this should be set around 100 and you're going to have two gauges. You're going to have your input coming in, which is going to be probably line pressure, I guess. And then this should be the pressure of the cylinder and you only want a percentage. Being that these have no push rods, we don't have to worry about top dead center or really anything. Um, you, you're probably supposed to, but I'm not worrying about it. In this case, the, sil the engine might move, pushing that piston down, uh, depending on where it's at. But we should get a pretty good percentage being if this was really rebuilt like we're hoping and we don't have to worry about valves timing. So let me input this. So we got 90 coming in. I hear it leaking past the rings and we're at 70 PSI on that one. So. Let me, uh, I'm gonna write this down and we'll pick it back up with the compressor off. So we're recording stuff on my phone, which I laid down over here. Cylinder two was at a 72% leak down, which for a rebuilt engine, what we assume isn't bad. If we hold 72 across everything, then we won't worry about it. So let me scoot you over here like so. And let's look at it. And the rings, being that we put transmission fluid in everything, should seal up decently. This one's only wanting to hold at 45. So, leak downs test all over the place. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if this was just a respray and this was rebuilt, you know, or as Vice Grip Garage says, you know, like a respray rebuild. Lost the receipts, sold as is. So, I don't know. Uh, very concerned about that, not gonna lie. But, rings need to break in, right? There's hope. It's okay. Last thing I'm gonna do on this, this video, where I put the valve covers back in. We're gonna spin it over again. Because it seemed like Number six was weird. And I don't know why. I mean, I think it's getting better. Yeah, see, like, there's no spark plugs in that. But, I mean, at this point, was it gonna hurt to just get it running? Okay, so that's doing a leak down test for Chris. And, yeah, we're gonna have to figure it out. 